Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God. So we're going to talk about the blessings in Genesis and kingdom marriages. All right. So and um, what, how you get your blessing? This blessing that God put on everyone in Genesis, right? I'm going to read Genesis 12 and 1. Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, remember his name was Abraham before God changed his name to Abraham when he blessed him, just like his, Jacob's name was Jacob to him until God blessed him and he changed his name to Israel. And, you know, God says he'll give you a new name, right? Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred. What's your kindred, your family, your relatives? And from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee and I will make so when he does this what did God tell him to do first get out of his country get from among his his relatives get out of his father's house and go to a land that he's going to show him and I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and I will make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing and I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curse thee and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Why did God tell Abraham to get out of his country, leave his kindred, and his father's house? Then he got himself a wife. He got Sarah. And Abraham took Sarah to wife. Doesn't God bless a man? He left, and then he got his wife. But why did God tell Abraham to do that? We got to go to the New Testament. All right? What did Christ say when he came? God wants to bless you with all of this. I want to bless thee and bless them that bless thee and curse him that curse thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. He's going to bless you, make you a great nation. But what? why did he tell you to leave your country, leave your family, your kindred, and your father's house? Matthew 13 and 57. And they were offended in him. They're offended in Christ. But Emmanuel said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, save in his own country and in his own house. Do you understand that? A prophet is not without honor, save in his own country. That's why God told Abraham, Leave, get out of that country and his own house. Your own people, leave your father's house. Because a man's enemy are they of his own household. So from the beginning, Genesis means the beginning, God told you, get out of your country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house and unto a land that I will show thee and I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and I will make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing. What God has been trying to teach people is when they get to a certain age, they're supposed to leave their parents' house and they're going to, and then, and they're supposed to be seeking God and he leads them to their wife and they have their marriage and they 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 build their own family with their children God makes them a great nation and blesses them he, he did it he showed you by example what he did with Abraham he did the same thing with Isaac with Rebecca and with with J with Jacob name turning to Israel because what? And if, if, if we go in Mark's version, it says this. And But Jesus, Emmanuel Christ, said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country, and among his own kin, and his own house. So in this one, it says kin. What does God tell you here? In Genesis 12 and 1, Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. Because God already knew. God, God knows the beginning from the end. He knows everything. Mark 6 and 4, A man is not without honor, but in his own country, and among his own kin, and in his own house. That's why God told you to leave that country, leave your kindred, and leave your house. And then what? A wife. God blesses a man with a wife. What happened after Abraham left his country, left his kindred and his father's house? And Abraham took his wife. You get me? And then even for a woman, God talks about it. Psalms 45 and 10. Hearken, O daughter, and consider, and incline thy ear. 
forget also thy own people and thy father's house. Didn't you see what happened with Jacob when he stayed at his his father's his his in law his father in law's house? There was a time him and his wives had to leave. She couldn't stay at her father's house anymore because she started a family. And early in the morning, Laban, Rachel and Leah's dad, rose up and kissed his sons and his daughters and blessed them. And Laban departed and returned to his place. He had to send away his daughter. Now it's the, they, they, their blessing started. Then what happened after with Jacob? God changed his name to Israel. You can't be afraid to be on your journey with God. And that's the part people don't have faith when God tells them to do something. But this is what he wants for you. He wants to make you a great nation, bless thee, make you have a great name, and, and hear what? They'll persecute you in one city, right? It says, flee to another city if they persecute you. Because what? A prophet is not without honor, save in his own country and in his own house. So that's why God tells you to depart from them. And then the version of Luke, it says... In Luke 4 and 24, Verily I say unto you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. You know, because they're like, who's this person? People who see people in their country, they don't believe them to be prophets and seers. They're more, they're, they're going to be recognized by people in a different country. Say there's a prophet in America. They're not going to be regarded by the people in their country in America, they're going to be regarded by the people, more people in the in the United Kingdom, or Canada, or somewhere else, or Africa, or wherever. Just like in your own city, they they don't honor a prophet. That's why God tells you if they persecute you in one city, flee to another city. Because a prophet is not accepted in their own country. And that's why God, with the blessing that he's going to give you, it's so big you have to leave. Look how it worked out for Joseph's favor. Okay? When Joseph... Look, okay. His brothers thought they stopped it. They, were gonna, they thought they were going to kill Joseph. It didn't work like that. They threw Joseph in the pit. And then they said they took him out the, and they sold him. They didn't know that they jumpstart Joseph's destiny when they did that. Because although they were trying to do evil to their brother, God turned it to good. Because Joseph was still in his father's house. He was still where? He was he was still what he was still in his father's house. And what did God say? Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. His brothers jumpstart Joseph's destiny. When they when they tried when they threw him in the pit and then they sold him to the Ishmaelites, because now he was out of their country, his country, and out and from among his kindred and out his father's house into a land. And what did God do when he got to that land? Didn't Joseph become like a governor? A top. He 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 changed his story. So his brother he turned what his brothers did. For evil against Joseph to good. They intended an evil against Joseph, as he said, but God turned it into good. Do you see how even what he his brothers did jump started his destiny and put him right in alignment? God knew they were doing evil against his, their own brother, and God turned that into good. That's what started his destiny. Let me read Genesis 12 and 1 again. Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, and unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great. Didn't God make Joseph a great nation when, he, when his brothers sold him? And, he went, and his brothers end up having to go to him in Goshen? And I will bless, and didn't God bless him? And didn't God make Joseph's name great? And he was a blessing. His brothers had to even come there. And he had to help them. 
they jumpstart Joseph's destiny. That's why, like, when people think they're digging a pit for you, God is turning it into a blessing. When they intend evil for you, God is turning it into a blessing. And you have to trust God. And you have to fear not and be not dismayed and always remember that he's with you. And he will never leave you and he will never forsake you. Look at Joseph's story. They jump, they kickstart his destiny. Look, get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house and onto a land that I will show thee. A man's enemies are they of his own household. God told you, he already, God already knows that. Get away from them. Why? Why? Luke 4 and 24, Verily I say unto you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. Now we go to Matthew. A prophet is not without honor, save in his own country and in his own house. Now if we go to Mark's version, a, ma a prophet is not without honor, but in his own country and among his own kin and among and in his own house. That's why God told you, um, get thee out thy country and from thy kindred, kin, kin. And from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make thee a great nation. He did that for Joseph. He did that for Joseph. Flee to another city, right? If they if they persecute you in one city, you flee to another city. As now it says, um, Matthew 10 and 23. But when they persecute you in this city, flee ye in, into another. For verily I say unto you, you shall have not gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. So this blessing, you know you have to depart from people. You, you're you're, you're going to have to understand that God is the one making you a great nation with your wife and your children. There's a time you have to leave your family. It's the truth. And you guys are supposed to come together on, a, on the holy days. But this is just to open up your understanding with, with this blessing. How God, you know, expects men to trust him. To put their trust and faith in Him. So they could get those blessings from Him. Fear not. He's with you. Be not dismayed. Isaiah 43 and 5. Fear not for I am with thee. And I will bring thy seed from the east. And gather thee from the west. Isaiah 41 and 10. Fear thou not for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yeah. I will help thee, yeah. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Didn't you see when Jacob was with Rachel and Leah, and she, he was in his his in his in-laws house, Laban's house? What did Laban do? He told him he could work seven years for one of his daughters. Tricked him. And when it was time for him to go, he had to work another seven years for his daughter. Why do you think God told you to leave them people? A man's enemies are they of his own household. But I hope this opened up your understanding that you, God created you for your spouse. Even when your children leave you and make a their life with their spouse and God makes them a great nation with their spouse you are it's it's going to be you and your spouse at the end again the one flesh when your children depart from you and the, you're just going to be you and your one flesh remember that stay blessed beautiful people